Welcome back to Balanced Health. Today, Joe's running us through the seven pillars of health. It's a list of simple steps we can take to put us on the road to better health. Joe, you, we've covered, I think, about five of them or four. four. What's, what's the other three? We are on number five. Uh, pillar number five is elimination. And one thing all four pillars have had in common with the last three, so far, not one of these cost you a penny. That's true. They do cost you a nickel. Everyone's a God-given gift. Elimination, surely, is something I think most people think of elimination through, you know, one primary, you know, venue yeah. uh, without elaborating. We also, our kidneys are a source of elimination. Mm -hmm. Our livers are a source, our liver is a source of elimination or at least cleansing of our blood. Um, and of course, we, we, our kidneys cleanse, and then uh, so urination is also a form of elimination. Mm -hmm. We talked about sweating, right. eliminating through the skin. Um, another area of elimination um, is breathing. So when we breathe, every time we breathe in and we breathe out, we're breathing out toxins, we're exhaling at toxins. Hmm. That's why we've even done on this show before deep breathing exercises right. where we teach people how to deep breathe, breathe from their diaphragm. You know, all the way in, and you completely fill your lungs up. And it's interesting, Shirley, just to show you um, how, what a uh, cleansing organism or elimination organism your breathing mechanism is. If I sit you through down to a series of deep breathing, mm -hmm. by the fifth or sixth one, you, you, you'll stop and say, Joe, my breath tastes terrible. Really? Yes. Oh, you're kidding. No. Well, You'll I'm say a test, I'm try a, a that. test too, and, and that's because <laughs> but you that. really got to do it deep. You got to do it deep and hold it, and you have to exhale. When you exhale, you have to exhale everything you possibly can. Well, when I was taking voice lessons, the way my voice teacher said that you know if you're really breathing deep is if your stomach, if your abdomen or your, your upper stomach actually gets goes out, you have to start breathing from there and right. then let you fill your chest. Would that be accurate? And that's the reason, the reason for that is when, you, when, you, when that happens, your diaphragm's expanding. Mm. That's what's allowing l larger uh, uptake of oxygen clearing through your lungs. So elimination, people, surely people should be eliminating at least two to three times a day. Um, if they're not, increase water. But elimination is, it, it's God's mechanism mm -hmm. of removing what should key. no longer be in the body. Okay, what about diet? Uh, pillar number six is diet. Uh, <coughs> people think of diet in this culture as a way to lose weight. Yes, exactly. Really, diets refer to as what you eat on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, we have nutrient-dense foods and we have nutrient-naked foods. A calorie, if you look in a dictionary, is a unit of energy. We think of calories as bad things, and yeah. the reason for that is Americans' calories are often are often are often very bad. Mm -hmm. But a calorie is supposed to go in your body and perform functions. It's supposed to give you energy. It's supposed to, you know, produce muscle, uh, fat, and energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. When we're taking That's in calories thing. that are naked, the body doesn't. In other words, there, there's no nutrition in them. There's no fiber in them. There's no protein in them. They're naked calories. You know, simple sugars, starches, processed grains. What happens is when those calories go in the body, instead of being a unit of energy, they become a unit, <coughs> unit of storage. And so when we take in those kind of things, um, we actually get disease and we get obese and so on and so forth. We can get more on our website about uh, diet, Kylea, K-Y-L-E-A dot com. But surely the main thing about diet is remember, eat water-rich, nutrient-rich foods. When it comes to vegetables, dark green is best. When it comes to meats, all meats are good, just buy food that like bison things that are not commercially processed mm -hmm. stay yeah. away from things with growth hormones and the chemicals and meat and, and meat byproducts so will be fine so for even you. beef is fine absolutely but, but, you know but grass-fed beef you know stay away from the that with that has all the all the bad stuff absolutely in it. and finally uh sunshine and oxygen pillar number seven is sunshine and oxygen people think well they're outside you know um if you take and kind of combine some of these things that we're doing here so if we encourage people, get outside, get sun every day you possibly can. Don't get sunburn, get sun. Mm -hmm. When you're out in the sun, okay, do your deep breathing. Drink your mm. water. Okay. Eat a vegetable. Put these things <laughs> together. Don't eliminate outside when you have sun. That probably wouldn't be a good thing to do. <laughs> I know. That's right. but Just sweat. You can sweat you outside. You can sweat. You see? You can eliminate. <laughs> there you go. Um, so when you're outside, Shirley, and you're taking in sunshine, we, we, we heard a study today about vitamin D and sunshine, right. how incredibly it, uh, it is for your body. And, and the fight against cancer. cancer. Yeah, I, it that fights was, cancer. Yeah. So sitting outside in the sun is an incredible thing. Oxygen is a natural thing to neutralize the bad stuff that's in the air. You know, one of the main <clears> functions of wind in the atmosphere is? To cleanse it? It cleanses it. Wow. 
Wind cleanses the atmosphere. That's why wind is perpetual. It never hmm. stopped. It's less oh. than others sometimes, but it never stops. If it did, we would die in days. Interesting. So you get outside and breathe that, that cleansed oxygen deep into your lungs while you're getting sunshine and drinking good water, and surely things in your life will well, change. Well, could you, real quick, we just have a, a few few seconds here to go through the seven again. I don't, I don't, and they can, like you said, they can go to Kylea.com right. or yes. they can go to TLN and get them. Uh, number one was water. Um, number two, well, number three was exercise. Was sleep. Number two was sleep. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, number two was sleep. Number three is exercise. Mm -hmm. Four is our spirituality. Five is our elimination. Six is our diet. And seven is sunshine and oxygen. That's, that's very interesting. It's well, amazing, Shirley. People implement these seven pillars. It's just amazing the differences and, in your and body. And really, anybody can do that. Absolutely. And, and it's it, free. It's free. It's it absolutely free. That's, not cost very, that's very, very good news for me. This has been great, Joe. Thank I, you I, for it was, that. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Well, you know, you can learn more about the seven pillars of health by visiting TLN.com, and then you click on Shows, and then you go to Balanced Health. Also, be sure to call right now and order a copy of today's show. To submit your health questions, email us at balancedhealth at tln.com or call us at the number on your screen and we'll answer them on the air. For Joe Costello and myself, thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time on Balanced Health.